Timor-Leste's President Ramos Horta opened a cultural and arts festival in Atauro Island. The festival will run for four days, starting on November 21st through November 24th. Attended by at least 2,500 people, the festival was opened by President Ramos Horta and marked with drum beating and fireworks sliding. The cultural and arts festival started deftly from respective regions, including representatives of Indonesian dancers and musicians, where they wore traditional costumes with their own origin musical instruments. In his welcoming speech, President Ramos Horta said that besides promoting Atauro Island with its beautiful sea, he hopes that the cultural and arts festival on the Atauro Island could be one of the best tourist destinations in the future. He also expects that the festival could be the opportunity to unite Timor-Leste's people to build the country together. Meanwhile, 14 ambassadorial representatives in Timor-Leste also enlivened the cultural and arts festival in Atauro Island, Timor-Leste. The ambassadors coming from the United States, Indonesia, Malaysia, Cuba, the United Kingdom, Portugal, Australia, and the Philippines wore Indonesian traditional clothes from regencies and cities in Timor-Leste, while an Indonesian ambassador wore a traditional cloth from Likika Regency. Besides wearing traditional costumes from 14 districts in Timor-Leste, the ambassadors also had the opportunity to tell and explain the traditional clothes with jewelry attributes they wore. On the same occasion, President Ramos Horta expressed his gratefulness as ambassadors from several countries also enlivened the event by wearing Indonesian traditional clothes. And 500 people, the festival was opened by President Ramos Horta and marked with drum beating and fireworks sliding. The cultural and arts festival started deftly from respective regions, including representatives of Indonesian dancers and musicians, where they wore traditional costumes with their own origin musical instruments. In his welcoming speech, President Ramos Horta said that besides promoting Atauro Island with its beautiful sea, he hopes that the cultural and arts festival on the Atauro Island could be one of the best tourist destinations in the future. He also expects that the festival could be the opportunity to unite Timor-Leste's people to build the country together. Meanwhile, 14 ambassadorial representatives in Timor-Leste also enlivened the cultural and arts festival in Atauro Island, Timor-Leste. The ambassadors coming from the